What's up guys, it's Sammy Cheese here, back with another video, and now in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make Minecraft in Scratch 3.0. Now before I get started, there's a link in the description for all the sprites and costumes needed for this project. Make sure to download them all before we start. And once you're in the editor, the first thing that you want to do is to delete the Scratch Cat. And after you've done that, first thing you want to do is upload the backdrop. So it's background.png. And after that, also upload the other two sprites. So here are the two sprites, and as you can see, this sprite has all the blocks in Minecraft. And before I begin, I'll put a preview on screen of the game that we will be making today. It's a Minecraft building simulator with all the blocks in Minecraft. Right now, I'll put some examples of some really cool builds. Anyway, let's start coding. So the first thing that we are going to code is the block movement. So go to events, grab a 1 key space press and change this to key W pressed. And then go into variables and rename my variable to inventory open question mark. And there are also three other variables that we will use later on. After that, go into control, grab an if then loop block, go into operators, grab a block that says not, and then grab an equals block and put this equals block inside the if not then loop block. Then go back into variables and drag a inventory open into the left side of the equals block and change the right side to a one. Then drag it onto the key W pressed. After that, go into events, grab a if then loop block and put this inside the other if then loop block. Then go into operators, grab another not block and put this inside here. And then grab another equals block and put it inside the not block. And then go into motion and grab a y position block and put this on the left side of the equals block and on the right side to put 180. And then after that, grab a change y by and change this to 16. And that's the first script done. After that, all you want to do is right click and duplicate that four times. And on one of the duplicate scripts, change the W to an S and change the Y position number to negative 172 and change the change Y by to negative 16. And then on another duplicate script, just change the Y position block for an X position block and then change the change Y by to a change X by and change the value of 10 to negative 16. And again, change the Y position block for an X position block and change the change Y by for a change X by block and change the value to this time positive 16. And once the movement is finished, all you want to do is go down to variables and make a new list. And call this list block saved x. And then make another list and call this block saved y. And then after that, make another list and call it block type. And make one more final list called saved data. And then uncheck all of them. And once you're done with that, go back into events, grab a one year flag click block, and go into looks. Grab a switch costume to and change this to grass. And then grab a go to front layer block and put a show block right under the go to front layer block. And then after that, go into variables and make a new variable and call this one max blocks. And also make sure to uncheck it. And then grab a set, change this to max blocks to 143 and then drag this under the show block. And then grab another set, change this to last x to zero. And then drag that under set max box to 143 and then grab another, change this to last y and put this under here. And then go down into list and grab a delete all of and change this to block saved x, change this one to block save y, and change this one to block type, and then change the final one to save data and drag this under all these variables. Then go to motion and grab a point in direction 90, go to x, change the x to 8 and the y to 4, and then drag this under point in direction 90. And then after that, press this little block plus button and choose pen. And then finally, grab an erase all pen block and put this at the bottom of all that code. And now, let's make a few blocks. So go into my blocks and make a block and call this one save position. After that, make another block and call this save and then press add an input and put value. And then press OK. And then make one more block and call this one stamp. And then press OK. And now let's call this stamp block. Go down to the pen and grab a stamp block and put this on the stamp block, just like that. And now let's code the save value block. So go up into list, grab a add, go into operators, grab a join block and put this inside here. And then grab a value block from the save value block and put this on the left side of the join. And then on the right side of the join, all you want to do is type this character. And then just change block save x to save data and put this on here. And now let's go save position. So go back down to lists, grab three of these add blocks, just like that, and change the first one to motion, x position, and make sure it's block saved x, and then grab a y position, and make sure it's block saved y, 
and for the third one, go to looks, costume number, and put it as block type, and drag that on there. And then go down to my blocks and grab a save block and put these three in a row just like this. And go into motion and grab an X position block, Y position block, and then go into looks and grab a costume number block. Just like that. And now I'll explain some code. So the stamp block is some code for placing blocks. This save value block is for adding data to lists. And this save position block saves the position of where the blocks were placed. And this line of code is general setup for the game. And then these four blocks of code are for movement. And once you're done with all that other code, just go into control, grab a forever loop, and add this to the bottom of the one green flag click block. Grab an if then loop block, and inside there go to operators, grab a now block, and put this right here. Grab an equals block, and on the left side of the equals block, go to variables and grab an inventory open question mark block, and on the right side, put a 1. Then, go back into control and grab a if then loop block and put this inside. And then go into sensing, grab a key space press and put this in here. And then go into my blocks and put stamp, save position, and then go to control, wait until, go into operators, not, go into sensing, key, space, press. And that's part one done of this Minecraft game series. If part two is out, it will be on your screen right now. Other than that, thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.